Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. This is Boss Vision where I share with you all everything you need to know about making candles. Why is everyone so in love with me? Could it be my lips or my energy? I could count them up, be like one, two, three. Everybody wants so in love with me. In today's video, I'll be saving your life again by giving you an honest depiction of what 16, 17 fragrances smell like. If you're like me, you didn't go there. You never went there. You just saw how expensive they were, clicked off. Or you could be someone who used to purchase from them and wanted to see if the new vendors who are reselling their fragrances are living up to the hype. So yeah, if either of those are you, you're in the right place. If you like videos like this, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what you want to see in the future and subscribe so you do not miss out on anything else that I post. All right, let's just jump right in as you can see here we have part two already uh, here if you haven't seen part two please go back to part two of our 1617 series and watch it in that video i gave my honest opinion of these eight here i didn't hold back i tell the truth and only the truth so help me god so today 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 we're going for the final eight there's 24 fragrances in the 1617 library that hive and honey gave access to hive and honey understood the assignment when 1617 shut down they took no they were aware of the scenario. I knew a lot of people were going to be distraught in disarray, going to call the police and call the firefighters. This is an emergency. What is this? Why we don't have our fragrances? We're going to go broke. But don't worry, you're not going to go broke. And I'm glad you chose these ones. I feel like they're very perfumey and the names are so unique. So I'm excited to go through this last eight here. You'll see the direct links to each of these in the description of the video as well. If you like one, you want to try it, definitely go for it. Okay, so that was a bad idea. Bad idea. Y'all didn't see, but I just roller pull it everything. First thing is called Persephone. Persephone. What even is a Persephone, you guys? Like, I'll put it on the screen. Persephone is a goddess. Demeter's daughter by Zeus, wife of Hades, and queen of the underworld. Okay. Persephone is like that. Okay. I have to keep reminding myself to use a blotter strip. In the last two videos, you'll notice I struggled using blotter strips. We were back like chiropractic. Oh, these ones, these ones come with the little thing. You know, the little thing to prevent spilling. I like that. That's fancy. Ooh, ooh, it's like a jasmine lemon. Mmm, it's a good vibe, you guys. I like it. Oh my god, it's a jasmine lemon. I can't think of anything else. Oh, I love this. This is perfect for the season. Okay, so it's an orange blossom, cherry blossom. So that's probably the lemon that I was getting, the citrus. Key lime. That's a lemon, I guess. Clean cotton, plum. Pomegranate, bamboo, beech wood. Okay, so I'm not getting jasmine here. Um, they're not saying jasmine, but that's what it smells like. Oh, maybe the, maybe the citrus. Is that cherry blossom burst? Oh my god, yes. And beech wood. Beech wood is like a pineapple. Oh, this is so freaking good. I give this a 20 out of 10. Persephone is heavenly. I would do it by itself in a candle. Next, we have Florencia. Ooh, bougie like Italy. Florencia, let's see what the notes are. <laughs> Not my vibe. It smells like when you go to the car wash, you get that citrus spray. Mm, but then there's like some under note of like, I don't know, ozone. Okay, so it's a Bulgarian rose. So that's what it is. An under note of rose, white orchid, Tongan vanilla. Ugh, it's growing on me. Just hearing orchid, I'm like, yes. Okay, so I wouldn't do this in a line just because of how bad it is. But I would do it in a... um like a sample to see people's feedback see if this resonates because you'd be surprised like in terms of being an entrepreneur it's not just about your own palette it's about the palette of your intended demographic if you don't know who your intended demographic is and i definitely recommend you check out the ultimate candle business guide it'll give you step-by-step -step actionable items to identify your candle business demographic and then uncover even what type of scent to sell because too often we just say oh that smells good that smells good let me launch five cents don't just launch random five cents put your best foot forward give people what they want based upon your business plan and the link for that will be in the description of this video but yeah this is something if you had an italian candle collection and you wanted to present that then i would have to say florencia 
Next we have Eternel. Eternel. So I don't know if it's Eternel or it's Eternel, but it's Eternel. Okay, so I'm trying to look at the notes, but I don't know if it's gonna smell good. If it smells like Eternity, it's probably like white diamond. It's probably old and stank. We'll see. Oh my god! No, it's not old and stank. Ooh, it just reminds me of my childhood. Like, okay, so I'm getting like this is more so like a jasmine vanilla scent. Mmm, but it's mixed with some sort of additional floral, maybe gardenia. And then a very strong perfumey cologne, like a cologne musk. I don't know, teak wood, we'll see. Mm. The notes are magnolia blossom, frangipani, jasmine, tobacco, and vanilla. Okay, so it's not musk, it's a tobacco. Okay, not teak wood, tobacco. Yeah, that makes sense to my brain. Like, I feel like tobacco, vanilla, floral works. Tobacco, vanilla, floral will give you a strong hot throw. So definitely recommend that. I could tell just with the, the set notes, you know, marrying each other, how it would execute so i definitely recommend this the link for this one will be in the description i give this a hundred out of ten eternal eternal next we have virgin jungle what the hell what the hell 16 17 virgin jungle okay let me see ah oh, it's so it reminds me of like sour patches it's so strong very strong maybe even a cherry orange Mm, oh my god, it's very fruity. So it's a bergamot peach, so very strong peach. They also mention jasmine, sambac, cashmere, and teakwood, but I'm not getting that. Ugh, I just get peach. Peach bergamot, this is fire. I would love to make a candle with this. Oh my god, virgin jungle is really good. It's like a very fruity scent that you would be able to make candles with. I definitely say check this one out amongst each and L, like two out of four you gotta get these two raw her next we have Kathmandu that sounds African so let's see if it has a Caribbean scent we'll see what they're going for with this I'll be just trying to learn but they trying to meet them where they are yeah it's giving Africa it's giving if you went to a farmer's market and you saw somebody selling you know like African Jump, you know, clothing and things of that nature. This is what that table would smell like. Like shea butter, baby. Shea butter, baby. So it's Malabar pepper, cedar, sandalwood, and Baltic amber. Yeah, this is African. Okay. Malabar pepper. I do get pepper, a peppery scent with like vanilla and cedar. Yes, absolutely. It's very much, if you had that type of demographic who resonated with African scents, then definitely go for this. Next, we have Cal 23. Cal 23. Oh my God, that smells good. So it's taking me on a journey of lemon and citrus coupled with some sort of warm vanilla. Ooh, but maybe even coconut. Oh, it's so good. It's like a cream sickle. It's, it gives a cream. It gives like a a cream sickle. Ooh, it's good. Maybe even cherry. Okay, it says El Dorado peach, dark patchouli, and black rum. Like cream sickle, like a mark, like a coconut. Um, what's that? What's that drink called? The frozen white drink. Whatever that is, that's what it gives. Yes, I love this. Ooh, it's like going to the beach or going to a resort. This is heavenly. Definitely recommend Cal 23. Next we have Alastair. Alastair. There was a man named his name was Alastair and he was trying to hit on me. I was doing work. I was conducting business. And he did he found me on Facebook and his last name was Alastair. So now I remember that. But it's an African name. So I wonder if this is an African scent too. Okay, let's see. Oh hell no. Boy, boy. No, this smells like pure grass. If you were to sit in the grass in a big forest, this is your vibe. But it also is giving some sort of very masculine scent, maybe even a pine or a patchouli. Ooh, to the max. Okay, so this is cypress vetiver, tobacco leaf, sandalwood, and ambergris. No, 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 no. It's a one out of 10, not my thing. Sitting in the grass. If you like sitting in the grass, get this. But don't get it if you don't like it. Next, we have Mojave. Well, that sounds African too. Mojave. 
Oh, it has a little thing on it, a little cover to it. I think they all do, but this one, they just, only two of them fell out, but okay. Uh, uh, it's like a very masculine citrus, so maybe it's even, because as I've seen here, when I think citrus, they go peach, so maybe it's peach. But then it's less than that, maybe it's lemon. Mm, and then it's like a like when a man says his dresser, he puts on cologne, that scent, whatever that is, like Abercrombie and Fitch, uh, teakwood, I would say. Let's see, pepper, that's what it is. Okay, so it's geranium, pomelo, pink pepper, and Palo Santo. Yeah, I'm getting Palo Santo. And that geranium, oh my god, this reminds me of college because you know, in college, that's when you date a lot of men folk, and that's what it reminds me of. I go into a man's house, sometimes you just want to go to their dorm and just watch them get ready. Like, watching a man get ready is so therapeutic, it is the simplest one plus one equals two vibe. They be like, shower, face, brush teeth, spray something and you're done and that spray something moment is really similar to this so this is a good masculine cologne scent mojave definitely recommend 10 out of 10. i love this like this is the end of the entire series we did 24 fragrances guys and i'll just put them all up there so you can get overwhelmed as i was um definitely enjoyed this activity because it gave me an opportunity to understand like oh okay so this is what 16 17 even was because i had no idea what they did you know i just thought that they were just themselves and stuff but in reality they're not just like selling expensive fragrances the fragrances have a lot of scent profiles that you can really get comfortable with so i hope this video was helpful give it a thumbs up down below so you can so that youtube will boost it to more people and definitely let me know what you think of each set if you actually purchase them but don't just stop there you don't have to just buy these from hive and honey i recommend you grab uh, several fragrance discovery kits from hive and honey because they have top-notch fragrances since the owner of Hive and Honey is actually a candle business owner. So she knows what scents works best for customers. So I definitely hope you guys check it out. If you use my code Boss Vision, you will get some money off. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, your week, your next hour. Just live in your purpose and love life. Okay, bye. Okay, the Ultimate Sales Survivor Guide will help you with everything you need to know about getting business funding in 30 days. I got it with my medium to low credit score. So yeah, it worked out perfectly.